Today was, what, 100,000 people in Manchester. The biggest demonstration that's happened in Manchester for decades. We're more prepared now to strike against what's happening, to join demonstrations like we've seen, you know, in Manchester this weekend, uh, to be part of supporting Jeremy Corbyn. It's been an amazing turnaround, and like this, it's very, you know, a real cause for a bit of hope. We could see some big strikes in Britain coming up. I think if we had a strike now, with Jeremy Corbyn supporting it from a dispatch box, the UK Uncut and the People's Assembly and all these people who are campaigning for something better, it could electrify this country. I think we have to be really positive and people, obviously people are very busy, but to be as involved as they can with their positivity because that's what will decide what happens next in the next five years. One of the things we've tried to do is to not just talk about trade union issues, is to try and link up with social movements, campaigns, maybe to defend council housing, stop the NHS being privatised, uh, supporting occupations. There's been such sort of centre-right politics for so long that I think we've forgotten that there could be an alternative. We've just gone, well, how far left can we go? Maybe we can only go this far and we realise that we can go the whole way if we all, you know, if we all stick together, really. The point of the People's Assembly, as far as I'm concerned, is that we don't have to wait five years. You know, we're finally on the offensive after a long, long time. And you can already see strikes picking up, you can already see victory. Our strike at the National Gallery, 110 days on strike. Uh, we go back to work Monday. The shop steward who was sacked nine months ago has got her job back. We've got the London living wage and we've got a guarantee that no terms and conditions can be changed without the union agreement. We've seen street movements being more important than ever to politics actually and it's growing, you know, the influence that those things have and have been more important than ever. We're the union who represents tax collectors. And we've been banging on for years about people don't pay their tax. And we'd have a meeting in Parliament and about five people would come, really boring. We worked with UK and Cup. And they then occupied Topshop and all these places, sat down and said, pay your tax, front page of the Daily Mail. And I thought it was a really, really good example that you could work with some direct action people. That got out into the media, both the corporate media, but also brilliantly on social media as well. Neoliberal politics have been used to being the dominant, you know, the big kid on the block. And it really hasn't had much competition or, or, you know, conflict. And now suddenly with Corbyn, finally they're in a real opposition. And I think we're seeing the knives coming out. Whenever I go and do meetings anywhere of our union members, they always say, why can't the media ever say anything supportive, no matter what it's about? And you try to explain that the media in general is owned by billionaires who have no interest in the type of things we want to talk about. We have to remember that the press aren't behind us, aren't, don't want this to succeed, don't want people to know about it. The advent of social media, the fact that you know people are finding creative ways to, to do things, I think we've seen things change. When the Conservatives got in again, I think a lot of people just sort of felt like they'd lost the will to live. And so things like this really sort of make, make us realise that we're not alone in, and that there's other people who feel the same. In fact, there's loads of us who want to go out there and, and let the Tories know and let people know that there is an alternative. Hey, maybe we're now on the threshold of a movement that can make it happen. And I reckon that that would be a big media story, firstly through the independent media, but then hopefully the others will catch up. Going forwards, it's so important that everybody just throws themselves into it. This is everybody's movement. It's not mine, it's not anyone here's. This movement belongs to everybody, so you need to take responsibility for it and do it yourself. If we all went on strike together, we could actually smash what the government's trying to do, and that's really what we want to see.